G'day and <laughs> G'day and welcome. Jeez. <sighs> G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. And we've acquired an assertive thruster. We have one. I think there's only one on this ship. What are we gonna do with it? Uh put it somewhere safe for the time being, I think. Put it in Capex hangar underground. That's pretty safe. Yeah. We should also probably try and get the fuel out of this thing. Hmm. Energy low. Uh, cause it's got 50% in that large tank. What you're saying is that might fuel up all our little ships. <laughs> I, what I'm saying is that might leave us with, uh, Ooh. excess fuel. And they've also got... They've got oxygen this... tanks on board. Cause they've got oxygen so farms. Uh, it's at the back. I'm uh, trying to find which one it is. Oh, there it is. What's this one. It's this one. I think we must have blown up the other one. So I've looked for there more than one on there. All the other ones are NPCs, rusters. Yeah, which means we get nothing from them. At all. If we grind them down. But they're still working. They're still working, though. They'll still work. Yeah, they just don't. Because of the capture mod that we use. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you can't capture them. Yeah. Well, because of that mod, it switches control. And I think that's also the reason why I lost control of my connector. No, I think that's crew enabled did that. Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, one of them, well, one of them one did of it. Yeah. <laughs> one of them did it to um, me. Yeah. yeah, my ship uh, took a bit of a beating from when I got slammed into by this one. Yeah, where's your ship at? Oh, uh, you're like half in the hangar, right? I didn't quite... I ran out of fuel, so I didn't quite make it onto the connector. Now, did you run out of fuel or did you auto-lock? No, I ran out of fuel. I just sure. got no fuel left. Yeah. Uh, there was a hydrogen tank there. Somehow, yeah. uh, it didn't get split in half. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's very close, too. I mean, at least it means I can change my interior. Oh, actually, I'll probably just... I'll probably just put the tank back in and then take it over to the welder. Not looking great. Yeah, you... you actually, uh, you've seen on, better is, days. Is my, pro my projector's probably gone. Oh, my projector is still intact. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So you're gonna re rebuild her exactly as she was? I mean, yeah. it's, it's served you pretty well. Mm. I just need to put in a hydrogen tank back in there, chuck some, uh, I might need to chuck some ice in to refuel it. Yes, you will. And then that brings up the next question. Do we have any ice? Probably not. Energy critical. Uh, have you done a trip for ice in your big uh, new miner? I've done one. I was gonna say, it's probably more that the O2 gens have grabbed it all. Yep, there's no ice. Yep. Where's that thing that can convert H2 and O2 pack into ice. An ice cube tray. I will go to the North Pole and I will get us more ice. Because I think that's going to be, honestly, the quickest way for me to collect ice with this thing. Yeah. It was Is really it... quite time consuming drilling amongst the the rocks, but Kapak or actually both of you could probably go down and get a couple of loads while I'm out heading off to the polar ice camp. Mm -hmm. But this should be a much quicker process with you know, nine drills. I was thinking about what I've, the way that the uh, mining ships are all arranged down there. I was actually going to dig down to Capax hangar and put them all, have them all park underground and then maybe put some doors over the top so that we've got a proper parking spot for all of our mining ships. I mean, the more vehicles we can get under cover when they're not in use, the better. Yeah. And I was also just trying to think of a nice, neat way of arranging them within our base. Because I kind of like that our living quarters wrap around and I was thinking that it might be cool to have a, um, like a, a courtyard almost thing where the hangar doors open up and we can fly our ships out from there. I mean, you've still got a hole in your bedroom, but, uh, anyway. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to be there for a while still. Especially if I start on a project like what I'm talking about. Then I find out that Capac shot my door. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> he tried to repair it though. Uh, <laughs> he just wasn't sure what he shot. The joys of reviewing the after action footage, huh? Yeah, like all the stuff I missed, like you like Capac crashing into you. <laughs> oh yeah, I think Capac's goes suit signal off. I panicked for a second. Thought it was a robot <laughs> over there. I'm like, wait, no, he's welding. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we should get ourselves some helper robots. And expensive though. That's how you get Skynet. Good what point. does it cost us to get the helper robots? Um, Our humanity. Uh, we have to build a <laughs> robo factory and then... How are we going to get the cash for them? Because you have to pay cash, right? 
Um, I think so. Just welding up this wall, and then I'll go and stick a Rogo factory somewhere. Yeah, it might be helpful having a little uh, little buddy wandering around welding a few things up for us. Getting lost, breaking down, annoying Kapak. So Kapak, what resources do you need to finish off your tug? Um, I just need the the thruster bits and the things for the big, uh, the large storage and the large tank. And then to fuel up. Oh, and the batteries. I haven't built the batteries yet. So are we short on any minerals for any of those things that you're aware of? I have no idea. Oh, crunch. Oh dear. Maybe I should move away from here while you're... <laughs> nah, you're fine. You're in no danger. I'm in danger. You're in no danger. There's a lot of inertia to this much mass. Physics would dictate that. Yeah, it would. I have brought back about, I think, because I had some more in the drills, about 200,000 kilograms of ice. Well, I need to quickly steal the ice before the generators take it all. <laughs> oh, there's there's plenty. It'll take them a while to steal it all. There's 178,000 in the cargo container. Then get myself over to the... Um... Actually, would it be the welder wall or use the welder ship? For yours, I'd probably use the welder ship. Because mm. you can move your... You can then move your ship out in the open and just weld around it. Yeah, it'd be um, nice if we had like a sort of thing that could hold it so you could get to it from underneath. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of things like that that I think we could gain Energy from putting low. some work into. I'm trying to improve our welding Fuel setups that we have around the place. You've hooked up to the connector, haven't you? Uh, not yet. Oh. It's so slow. Might make some more O2H2 gens on the base. I don't think we've got enough of them. Need more fuel, more fast. There's a, there's a part of me that really, really, really wants to sit down and just spend like a full day reorganizing this base and sorting it out. It's grown. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. It was going at like 0.1% per second on the jug's tanks. And now it is going at almost a percent a second. Uh, what are we doing with the wreck we collected? Uh, so, honestly, given you've got a custom-built ship, I think scrapping it for parts, but we need to put aside that assert thruster. we got to keep that, because that we can never make. We can only repair, so that block needs to be kept. All right, I am going to go back to the pole again and get some more ice. And after I do that, I will go get a load of iron. And after I do that, I will go get a load of magnesium. And after that, I will finally allow myself to build some things. But if you guys wouldn't mind collecting a little bit of that as well, that would be lovely. Hmm. What? Unless you want me to put more passive aggression into that. That doesn't sound reasonable. <laughs> I mean, seeing what happened the last time I went on a mining trip... <laughs> Might have slightly The last crashed. time you did it successfully. The first time. <laughs> uh, the most recent time I hit the roof of the thing. Oh, was the, that the most recent one that you crashed I thought, it? I thought it was. I thought you repaired it and used it since you crashed it. I, didn't, I lose yeah, track. I you crash a lot. You two crash a lot of things. Yeah. I lose track. <laughs> so the reason we keep running out of fuel is because it's our primary source of power. And yeah. we all keep adding new batteries to the base that are on recharge, so we keep uh, chewing through a lot of that power. Even though we're not burning the power much, we're chewing through a lot of it because we keep demanding more be produced by the engines, so they're running at full tilt pretty much constantly. Which is fine, it just means we have to be aware that we need to keep collecting ice for fuel. And maybe even have a battery set on recharge that's a backup battery so that we can deploy Capax uh, solar panels if we fully run out. So they're a backup system. Uh, we could just use a vehicle battery for that. Oh, that's true. They're always on backup. They're always on recharge. There's a valid point, and that's exactly what we've done in the past. So the cost for the repair bot is 10,000 space credits and then repair bot material, which is, let's see, 462 iron, 17 nickel, 3 cobalt, 1 silicon. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay, so it's the 10,000 space credits that's going to be the challenge for us, isn't it? We're going to need to go find some sort of trading station what? and see if we can do some missions. 10,000? Yeah, running yeah. out of power. I've got 50,000 on me. You do? That's what it says. Isn't that what you start with? Where does it say that anyway? It says it in uh, your inventory. Wait, it says I can deposit 10,000 into the action bank account. Wait, why has Kevin got 50,000? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he evidently, from doing previous work, he must have had some m extra yeah. money lying around. Oh well, um, well, Capac, if you want to make yourself a helper, I guess you can. We'll probably need a little helper bay, because TFE is making my landing here quite difficult. Yeah, I'm trying not to. How? Yeah, that's that's. You you failed at the trying not to. But dang it. You failed the challenge. Like, anyway, have a look I'm at now, what you forced me to do. I'm now hooked up to the base. Oh, good. Yeah, I, th I was just meaning pop it there so that you could test it, Ow. not pop it there permanently. I was going to say, I don't need this. You've made this difficult. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't need to be there. And you also that should be fine. plates on the ground. Yes, I know. Oh, pick those up. One. Yes, but is that, do you think that's enough clearance where it's fine? For the moment, yeah. Oh. Uh, now we're just going to go and get the plate. I wouldn't... I think, um... Ultimately, it'd be cool to move the bot area into our living space so we have, like, a little yeah. medical room I was, room like, trying to do, like, a... Stuff like that. Because there happens to be this gap here in the wall. I figured I could bring it up there. Oh, yeah. You could easily do a, um, spiral stair there. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> we burnt all the ice in the time I was gone. It's all been converted to gas. Uh, which probably means that our station tanks have got some fuel in them. I reckon. They do, they're almost 50% full. Sweet. I'll go do a load of ice now. Not ice. Say ice. Iron. The other eye. Poke them in the other eye. I don't want iron in my drink. I thought you were going to say you don't want to be poked in the eye. Well, unless it's iron I think brew. that's true. I think it's true of most people. That's why I thought he was going to say it. Iron Brew used to have iron in it, but they took it out. Very disappointing. I thought you said you didn't want iron in your brew. Well, I do, if it's iron brew, but not if it's not iron brew. Neither of you two have done any mining oh, at all, there. have you? You've left uh, it all to me. That is possible. Such jerks. What? Well, I'm working on my ship. Yeah, which is quite expensive on the resource front. So I thought I would have some help, but apparently not. Take some time to fuel up, so I figured I'd do that kind of stuff then. When it's ready. It feels weird to have no, uh, to have had no one freak out because we've been shot at. What? Normally by this point we'd have shot, our base would have shot at something and we'd have all gone, ah! Ah, yeah. enemy attack! Yeah, that. Ah, I need more steel plate, dang it. Fortunately, one of us is doing something about getting resources for those steel plates, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got heaps of iron. I mean, if you need some steel plates, you could uh, salvage them off the wreck. Yeah, that's true. In fact, if one of you had argued that you were salvaging the wreck and that's how you were getting resources, I really would have had no comeback. Just thought as I took off rather rapidly then. I wonder I'm probably going to do that and hit one of you two. Probably, yeah. <laughs> that's like We haven't had, well, apart from Capac um, scratching your paint as he flew past. Yes. Haven't had too many cap hackings. You know what I forgot to put on my miner? Lights. War detector. Ah. The round armor inverted corner. I keep thinking the block's deformed just because of the way it looks. That's just going to fool you for a while, isn't it? It is. You know that makes me want to use them more, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now, to repair my ship. fuel to the fire. Hopefully this will mean we won't run out of ammunition for quite some time. Might even increase the amount of uh, auto crafting ammunition we get. Ow. Alright, we have magnesium, we have oh, yeah, what iron. Was, what, what was Capac using a welder ship for? Uh, repairing things. Thrusters. Oh, yeah. oh, the thrusters, yeah. That's a fair use for them. Right, and it's still 000. not broadcasting. Are we sure it's actually Capac? <laughs> Oh, what the? Whoa. Why did that? What? 
I just flew upwards and it just exploded for no reason. Uh, like, like I'm well clear of the connector. Well, oh, I, wow. was, I was far away. How did I do that? How did you break it so badly? I moved forward a little bit to get clear of the connector and then start flying upward and it just... How oh, it blew up the container. How? 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 I don't understand. Well, this, this is space engineers. Uh, well, guess I'm not using that to build the thrusters and I no more. Well, you... Oh, I don't think I got a projector for that one. Um, You're going to have to rebuild you... it from scratch. Oh, really? Uh, I was... I'll do it. <laughs> Any non-combat vehicle I apparently Enjoy cannot fly. <sighs> You're going to have to make yourself your own thing now. Oh, that's so annoying. I had it... Oh, it takes so long to set it up, too. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, 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 what oh. the... What? Um, why is it moving? So I think it's, I know what happened. It's locked onto either side of the platform. It's actually holding on by the iron thrusters. Yeah, I think that's what had happened. I think... Unfortunately, when it had last been parked on the connector, it was... It had sat itself in a position as TFE went forward, he probably was angled slightly downward and wedged himself properly into it, and that's when it exploded. Oh, so it's Capac's fault. Well, no, it's both of you. It, that, that would be how the thing was designed's fault. I was literally about to say that. It's unfortunately a bit of a design flaw of this connector arrangement for this particular ship. I was going to say it's a design flaw that we have these platforms under each of the... <laughs> well, except for the fact that when we lose power on the ships, like when you guys have detached them and have not recharged the batteries or have not gotten fuel, it saved the ships from getting destroyed. Hmm. The real question is, do I try the welder wall now? <laughs> the real I mean, question you... is, how do you two manage to destroy my ships when I don't? Yeah, because I was thinking, uh, the welder wall might actually work if I uh, just move this thing out of the way. Uh... It wouldn't get the middle bits, but it would... You could use the Caterpillar one. Isn't that what you've used in the past? Uh, Where? The Caterpillar's parking spot. I'm once again blind. <laughs> so many ships. Do you remember what the Caterpillar is? Uh, One of the little miners? No? gat a pillar It's a kind of pupil uh, stage gun, of a butterfly. I, the, I know this is a wasabi on here. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Wait, uh, Sabi is the caterpillar? I'm confused. No. Tiffy! The tank is the caterpillar! It literally has a beacon on it that says Gatterpillar! Oh, there. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that could work. <laughs> move that out of the way. Let me move Just, it. It's because you're, <laughs> you're not going to let me do it. <laughs> uh, oh, it dear. A beacon. It even has a beacon. Oh, there's so many antenna signals, though. You know, we could just go play Stellaris while we let Splitsy do everything. Rude. The problem is I'd probably have an asteroid slam into my first colony. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to move either left or right a little bit, because the yeah. welders can't reach the stuff they need to reach. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, yeah, this is accidentally ended up, apart from the... Ugh, it's terrifying. It... You are perfectly stable. Yeah. Well, I'm sure my footage will be interesting. <laughs> so, which of my ships are you guys going to blow up next? Um, I'm going to find a way to slam the asteroid building into a crater. That sounds good to me. I mean, that's that's not mine, so that's oh, okay. good point. <laughs> I will somehow run out of fuel in such a way I bounce over the base and hit one of your old rovers. Oh, not my rovers. Alright, welder ship, pretty much repaired. I'm just doing a little bit of decorative work on it now since it's actually last... It, well, up until its explosion it had lasted longer than I thought it was going to. Hey, uh, I think to do the rest I'm going to have to take off. Ooh! Oh. Ow, but that means you got to fuel it up. Yeah, uh, what's going to be the best way to get some fuel over here? Build hydrogen generators on it and put ice in it. Or... If you can figure out a way to move the tank from the 
ship we captured, take it over, connect it up by a connector, and drain it. Oh yeah, this tank's 50% full. Oh, I guess I could try to excise the tank and then lift it over there and connect it. Yeah, you could do that. That's actually probably one of the better options you've got. Uh, will it need a battery on it to connect? Nope. Nope, connectors don't need battery power. Okay. Or, well, any power. So it's, it's the assertive thruster that you want, not the MPC Correct. thrusters, right? Correct. Oh, I see Actually, green. I was, was going to say, we're nearly at the point we could um, make the main bit of the base airtight. Nearly. That was... I was about to start working a bit on more of the base stuff. I just had to repair someone's damage to one of my ships. Yeah, who would do such a thing? No, right? That would be most inconsiderate. I'm sure you totally won't do a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the joys of me editing my own content. Uh, right. You can change the narrative in the edit. <laughs> totally. Capac's actually a really, really serious person, and I'm the funny one. Yeah, that's true. I changed the narrative to make him look like the funny one. Little known fact behind the scenes. Yep. What, well, so all the stuff with Capac crashing is actually you? Yep. You just, just colour swap the suits? <laughs> no, no, no. He's, uh, he's actually the one that's dressed in grey. What? No. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean... I love that it took me saying that for Kavak to say, no, that's ridiculous. I mean, when you body slammed a rover into a base, I mean, we never saw you and Kavak together at that point, so... Ah, uh, so that's the real secret. We're actually the same person. Well, you're, you're actually the narrator. Yep. I'm Kavak's internal voice narrator. Oh, Fun's coming up. Oh. Oh yay! Daylight! I was gonna say, if we went after a cargo ship, we'd actually be able to see what we're doing this time. Yeah. But the previous time, we could only see the ship when we were like 600 meters away from it. Well, Capac's almost got his tug ready, so once he does, we can go after one. Ooh. That was what we were waiting for. And Roll the panels deployed. Overhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was excited about the sun. Yeah. I see. Until that gets the drone's attention. <laughs> or we could always go and take out those ground bases, although we're okay. probably not going to get as much loot from that. Unless well, we want to just yeah, we keep, won't get any keep merging away. the build, try to take out the buildings as search well, as possible and uh, bring them back. I would actually not mind getting a few more assert bases because I want to. I've I got an idea for how we can expand our living space, and if we have a few more of their bases, we can just stick them on. It'll work quite well. Yeah. So basically, more uh, modules. Uh, yeah. What would be a decent ship to tug this uh, tank with? Uh, uh, maybe the big miner? Uh, one of the little miners will do it. No troubles. You sure? Yeah, uh, the little miner brought this whole base that's got the satellite dish on it. The antenna dish. Let's say, where's the... I mean, you could also use it to pick up the bases as well. Uh, well, I'm hoping to use Capac ship for that so that he can yeah, learn how to... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he's... he's yeah, but he's needing to bring the fuel to his ship. That's what he's asking for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got my wires crossed. All right, let's see how hard this hole is to get out of with my miner. Yeah. Because I'd really like to have this be an airtight space down here, but I'm not sure Inventory if it's going to create full. more hassle than it's worth. And in my experience, large airtight hangar doors on static grids have a habit of turning themselves into static grids. This kind of scares me if I haven't got... If it's not comfortably wide enough, this thing accelerates upwards so quickly. Look good, though. I think there's enough leeway there. It's so annoying when I'm like, why can't I place a block here? I'm like, oh wait, that's an armor panel. Okay, but you doing any more of your hangar space down there, or have you... Uh, well, at some point. Okay. Oh, we got another shenanigans going on. Fair enough. So you won't be upset if I do things to it? Uh, where are you at? Oh, down there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. The hydrogen tank is free. Oh. Do you reckon a mining ship will be enough to pick it up? Yeah, comfortably. Very comfortably. Just make sure you, when you lock onto it, you don't 
have a thruster overlying it so you don't cook it. Okay, please nobody shoot me. Is that what you're calling your ship? Ah, yes, I see why to not shoot you. <laughs> that would end very badly. I'm totally not flying a huge bomb. <laughs> I mean, you're in the correct colours. It's yellow, you're orange. The warnings are there. You're going to put a connector on the bottom and just hook up there? Yeah. That's right, I got it. Thought I'd help guide you in, give you some extra light. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's a bit of a pendulum. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. You should be a, you should be fine if you just go straight down, and then it'll kind of magnetize you into the right position. Keep coming straight down, a little further. There you go. Locked. Right, I want to grind away the block that's, um, yeah, I'll just unlock. There we go. Um, uh, our back. Yeah. Have you actually got power on your ship yet? Yeah. Huh. It's got, you uh, don't sound like convinced. Four, it's got like four batteries that they haven't really been used for anything. So they should have some charge. Alright, where is this link broken then? Because the... I set the tank to stockpile and it's not stockpiling. Oh. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh! Engines yeah, it are looks on. like it's working now. Uh, some yep. of the engines are on. Yep, no, the, Why are the, you not on? the fuel is all transferred now. Great. Um, I'm going to go and clear out all those drones that are m hovering menacingly over our base. Sounds delightful. Uh, okay. Are you, are, my, are the thrusters on my ship on? No, they're off because your tank's on stockpile and it's the only one. Because they're fuel. making thruster noises when I go close to them. Yeah. Uh, do you want to... We should grind down this tank now. Uh, there's stuff in the connectors, I think. Yep. Uh, but right. you should be able to transfer it all to the cargo container. Oh yeah, I could do that. You do that. I was doing other things. I was just coming over to watch that, because I thought it'd be helpful. Was it, I noticed that um, both of you always fly in first person, I tend to fly in third person. I don't know if that is good or not. <laughs> um, so... The reason I fly in first person is that I'm firing with a fixed weapon. Oh! Ooh. Ah, I fly came in close. Oh. Yeah, I probably shot something down. <laughs> uh, so, I tend to, if I'm shooting with turrets, I'll be in third person because I'm not actually having oh, yeah. to directly aim things and it gives me more situation awareness. If I'm firing my fixed weapons I traditionally used a camera a lot for that because it gets you better aim mm. but a few people were finding that the flashes were not great for them when they were watching so yeah. I've been yeah. flying in first person where I can still get reasonable targeting but I don't have the same problem with the flash. Watch out for falling drone debris <laughs> uh, I see it's going to come down over the base a lot of it oh dear yeah it's raining drones. It really is. Do hydrogen tanks still explode if they're empty? No. No. So if they get slightly damaged and leak out their fuel, they don't end up actually exploding. Inventory. It tends to be when they get shot with an assault cannon and there's a mod that already adds explosive hydrogen tanks is where it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Specific much? They sound pretty cool up close too. Oh! Uh, something they blew up! up. Uh, oh! Wow! Um... Well that's not good. This crate is just gonna be full of wrecks at some point, isn't it? Because we're gonna be so bad at grinding stuff down. I think eventually we'd make like a grinder pit or something. <laughs> just have stuff being thrown around the planet? The moon? No, you... you at put maximum like a... velocity. No, you put like a roof over the top of it so you can close it I before you turn the grinders on. the roof. Well, uh, multi-layered roof then. <laughs> put 
put like it ten layers. Voxel. Um, use rail guns to grind it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that should work. I reckon we just watch. We just enjoy the show when we put stuff in. Uh, all right. Do you want to give me a hand taking off, Splitzy? Sure. You ready? Uh, also, where are you going to connect to? Well, I have to convert from station. Oh, okay. There you go. You're disconnected from the ground, hopefully. Okay. But yeah, nothing else should be intersecting. Yep, you're mobile. We have lift off. Woohoo! Have you have you had some thoughts on what you're gonna what colour you're gonna paint this thing? Uh, nope. Because I like the style. You've done really well. Does anyone want more of this uh, wreck before I start carving it up some more? Uh, maybe keep the cockpit area intact. Uh, I was going to say, is the uh, special thruster still on or do we remove it? Uh, it's still on. That's it's, still I think it's that one you're looking at. Yeah. Yeah, can you leave the, the front bit just from where the doors are forward intact? No, all of it. No, like, you can cut uh, through here. I just got an idea of how to use it as part of the base. I was going to maybe make it the control room above the hangar. Um, go back. I have an idea for you if you want to try it. Yeah? You could create a blueprint of the welder ship and then just replace the welder tools with grinders and then use that as a grinder ship. Yeah, that's true. Save you so many trips back and forth. All right, I put a fourth speed module on the assembler. See if that'll help us out at all. And we got more than one assembler? No, we just got the one. Ow. Well, we had two. No. Nope. Normally, we're not all three of us building big stuff in like mm. all at the same time. Yeah. Um, and once I finish these hangar doors, I'm not going to be chewing through the plate so quickly. Like I've been taking a thousand plate out at a time. I was wondering why it took so long for my ship to load, like to load up, which is why I started investigating what was going on. Then I realized it was because it was waiting for the materials. It wasn't waiting for the script. Oh, uh, I've just noticed Capex's color scheme. <laughs> I'll go check it out in a second. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it certainly stands out. Okay. <laughs> Is this now the beehive? That's like those, um, when they were testing the, the zigzaggy lines on the ships to break up their image to make them harder to yep. I see where they like were going. Kapak, how's your um, Bumble Bee Queen Bee Buzz Buzz ship doing? Uh, uh yeah, it's, it's pretty much good. I gotta tinker a bit with the paint job, but... You got 50% should be flyable. of a big tank, so I reckon you've got comfortably enough fuel there. Uh, so what I was thinking we could ah. do... What? Entered the wrong block. <laughs> what I was thinking we could do is... How about we head over to one of these observer bases? Take it out with the H-Tram and the Wasabi? And then you follow up and carry us... Carry the whole thing home. Uh, sure. Uh, did you want me to print off a paprika so you can use one while we go? you don't really have a way to you don't have a drone yet um sure now remember this one isn't charged uh, you have to keep an eye on your fuel because uh, remember that's how you lost the last paprika you ran out of power yeah because you were like alright we're going now well yeah that's what's going to be happening now what, we're waiting half an hour for it to charge and then we're going? No, we're not waiting for it to charge. We're just gonna go. But, so what's the point of even bringing it? Energy low. Well, I don't know. You said you wanted one. Because <laughs> you offered. <laughs> Look, I figured you would have thought it through first before you made no, the offer. That was my thought. My thinking through was, Capac, was keep an absent. eye on the power and if it gets low, land. Yeah, I'll just let you guys do it. I'm the heavy lifting. All right, cool. TFE, you ready with your H-Tram then? Uh, I think so. Okay. 
Should we go to the listening post? Uh, it's the furthest away from one? the others. Which one? Oh, uh, this one. The one that's 4.3 kilometers? Uh, the one that's eight. I was going to say, if Kapak's going to have potential power issues, shouldn't we go to one that's closer? No, no, he's not He's not flying that. He's taking his big ship, which does not have power issues. Yeah. I was just thinking if we get drones, this will mean he's less likely to be targeted. So we need to clear the area, take mm. out take out the base, and then we can call him in. So he can yeah. keep working until we need to call him in. Sounds good. Alrighty. I'm going in. Oh, yep. Disable reverse thrust. And PC crash. We'll <laughs> be fine. <laughs> I'm sure. All right. I've finished my painting. Cool. Uh, did you want to hold back at base where there are turrets to protect you in case drones come after you? Uh, sure. Or do you want to try and... Uh, I was just going to gonna follow you along and try to okay. keep a safe distance. All right, you do that. Did you see which direction we went? Oh. I'm, st I'm still broadcasting to everybody everywhere. Oof. What have you done, Kavak? Did you forget to turn his thrust, his um, tank off stockpile? Yes. How much did you destroy? Nothing. Oh. Fantastic. Uh, the landing gear re-grabbed and caught me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it's in the dark, TFE. No. You can still get it. Sure. You can try. You set to target weapons? I am now. Oh. Uh, I'm not seeing any drones. Oh no, I'm... I can still I can still see the base, it's bright enough. I'm within its gun range. But I don't see any drones. This one already dead? It might no. be out of power. Uh it's very much it's got any lights guns on. Moving. It's. Yeah, but if it's got lights on, it's got power. Well, I'm gonna. Sh Lemo. Uh, the guns don't appear to be shooting back. That one's down. Yeah, it oh, is. Ah, uh, shooting back there. Oh, I just, I just cleared it. You can stop shooting now. No. There's more shooting. I think your normal guns might be better here. Whoa, what the? What was it's done. that? It's done. It's dead. It's dead. TFE, turn off your guns. What um, I'm, I'm set to target weapons still. It, they're, yeah, they're detached. I've shot them off already. Stop shooting! Oh. <laughs> They're literally not attached to anything. What are you doing? No. You're still shooting them! Damn, I haven't hey, got, what are you uh, doing? I haven't got weapons off. I haven't got a turret off on my hotbar. So target propulsion. Uh, am I clear to come in then? Yep. Yes. <laughs> uh, we need to get on the ground though and clear it out from the inside though. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a robot. Yeah, that's what my guns are shooting at. Multiple robots. It seems a bit excessive. Are uh, using the gats on them? Yeah. Maybe. I will go out and use my rifle then. Dead. We're dead. Okay, so what's the deal with this base? It didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, it was weird, right? Still got the command block. Oh, it's not there's, functional. there's a dude behind the door. Sorry. Ow! Oh. Did you shoot me or did he? Not sure. Wait, what? Oh, has he got stuff? Yeah, I took it. Ow. Well, I got the other stuff. 
Um, actually, you know what? I'll be ready with a gun in case the... Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Breach and clear. <laughs> Wait a second, this looks familiar. It does. Seems to be the same model as we've got already, which is perfect. Well, <laughs> Like a laggy floor. Alright, uh... I might need to put some... Lights underneath, so I can see where I'm going in the dark. Oh yeah. Well, this is what shakedown cruises are for. So you work out some of the issues, and you can fix it. Oh, there's a guy! Oh. Got it. Right, I'm attached to the base. You are? Yep. Oh. Uh, the base is still technically under AI control. TFE, stand back. This might hurt. What are you doing? Oh. I thought that was gonna... Where was the earth shattering kaboom? Oh, gotta hack the beds. Uh, it's now ours, I think? Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, looks it. You can control all the Places doors. Now ours. Yeah! Transfer to Capac. Oh. Guess I can open the door then. Yep. <laughs> so... Should we get detaching? Yep. Uh, right. Preferably not while I'm still inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. shoot, shoot! Bad wrong. I'm shooting. I got it. Was one it of our off? guns was shooting one of their detached guns. Oh, the detached. I'll grind that down. All right, Kabak, you ready? Uh, yep. You piloting your ship? Yep. Uh, I must be blind. I don't see a ship. Kabak. Um, oh, TFE, TFE gave you access, control of everything on this grid. So can you yeah. come over here and share it with us? Oh. <laughs> yeah, TFE, that's why you give control only to yourself and then Wait, share what? with all. Why did it default to no share? It always does. Always has. It's obnoxious. So yeah, grab everything, Kapak, and then do share with faction. It it's looks quite intimidating. You look out the window and just see Kapak's ship there. Yeah, it's cool. Is. Now, if only there was some way of like having a retractable thing you could like punch through the wall with. Well, well my idea put, was that put some drills like, I something? could lock onto the wall and then we could open the airlock yeah. and grind through the locks. The other thing you can do if you wanted to to make it look like um, there's a bit of a bridge is if you replace the block under the, the door with an airtight hanger door, it would actually extend out and not collide with the grid on the other side. Uh weird yeah it's weird but it works you can use it as a retractable ramp that goes into the ground all right uh where do i want to stand this will do. honestly i was half tempted to just attach our ships to this and have capac carry us all back <laughs> it'll save the fuel i'm just gonna wait for capac to be ready yep. and then i'll convert ship you ready i'm, I'm ready i'm okay. getting clear three <laughs> two one And we're flying. I'm getting out of here so I can get back up. How can you just <laughs> need to get out? Fine. It was going up so quickly that I couldn't do it with my jetpack. It was beating me. I I really like your ship, Capac. I think you've done an awesome job on it. Well, with Capac's awesome little ship now functional, I try we could probably go up. To, well, yeah, <laughs> the little bit is debatable but it is definitely functional and it is it pretty is. cool so next time we can keep going after these bases keep adding on to ours and we can go after some more cargo ships too especially once he has a design for a drone which i think is going to be really really fun so there's all that and plenty more to come and we will see you then catch you next time everybody goodbye